Today we are going to make a rich, hearty soup with only three ingredients. Well, and water. We just need a meaty, meaty ham bone, two packages of black beans, and two onions diced. Well, we also need water. But doesn't that look easy? And we're going to make enough soup for supper, but then also have enough to can up four quarts. You know, if you're like me, you store dried beans in your pantry and your long-term emergency food supply. And I had recently done a video on the absolute best way to store beans long-term, and I got questions, you know, comments. Well, what do you do with those dried beans? How do you cook them? So, hmm, Bean Bonanza was born. Yes, I got some participating channels, and we decided to make every weekday in May a different bean recipe or legume recipes because we're also allowing lentils and peas. Um, and these recipes could be main dishes, they could be side dishes, soups, stews, and even desserts. Now these participating channels are, we have Tuli Lu Creates, Hamakua Homestead, In the Kitchen with Karen, Linda's Pantry, Mennonite Farmhouse, Pike Creek Farm, Sutton's Day, The Fermented Homestead, Umri, Proper Potpourri. Now the links for these channels are in the description box below. You know, I just love soups. Um, I love taking a pint with me to work for my lunch. Heats up quick in the microwave. It's very, very convenient. And as opposed to those, you know, lean cuisine meals or whatever those frozen meals, this is home cooking and it tastes so, so good. So my husband saw me get out the ham bone and he goes, oh, are we having pea soup or bean soup? What's it going to be? Well, we love a good hearty pea soup too. And it cans up so well. I have a link below if you'd like to see that canning recipe. And we also love, sometimes it's called 15 beans, sometimes it's called 16 bean ham soup. Again, a great soup to prepare for your family or to can for later. But I'm actually making this video. It's the week after, you know, Sunday was Easter Sunday. So we had all the family over. We had a very big ham and now we're left with a ham bone. So it's time to make a soup. And this time I wanted to make a little different soup. We are going to make a black bean soup. Now this soup is hearty. It is really just sticks to your ribs. Great recipe and it's so so simple to make and I love that I'm making supper with it and then canning some for later. Now don't ever ever throw away ham bone. I mean a meaty ham bone makes the best broth. So make your broth and then pressure can it. And then whenever you want, you can add it to soups, to stews, to your greens or your beans. I mean, it is so handy to have. Now in the last two bean bonanza videos that I posted, I either soaked my beans, uh, pre-soaked them overnight or in the Instant Pot. But today we don't have to soak our beans at all because they are going to cook in the ham broth they're going to gradually rehydrate, absorb all that great flavor. And we will be left with a wonderful, wonderful tasting soup. Now, of course you could use canned black beans, you know, they're already cooked, but to me, it just isn't gonna give you the same flavor because these beans just love to absorb all the broth and then they have a hammy flavor also. And that doesn't happen if you already put in pre-cooked beans. Now you need to allow sufficient time to cook the soup because I believe broth is the key to a good soup. You want a rich, hearty, flavorful broth. And to do that, to me, I believe you have to simmer your ingredients for a long time. Concentrate that water till you get really, really great broth. So you need time for it. Now, I actually made my soup 
last night and canned my soup tonight. So, you know, after work, I don't want to stay up till 2 o'clock in the morning to make the soup and can it. So this worked for me. But if you have a weekend, great. Just plan on using most of the day making your soup. Now, let's get started. Now, my beans have been rinsed really well and I've let them drain. So now it's time to put them in our stock pot. And now I'm going to just about fill this up with water because these beans are going to take up a lot of the water and I want some good broth. Okay, so I filled it up maybe two-thirds of the way, but I can always add more water if I need to. So I've started this on the stove top. I want to get it up to boiling and turn it down to simmer. And now I'm going to dice up the onions. Just want to put our onions in. And we're still going to wait for it to get up to boiling. That's going to take a while. Okay, got it up to boil. I'm going to take it down to sim. And we are going to leave it on the stove top for at least three hours. So I took the ham out of the soup. I want to separate it from the bone and then put it back in the soup. But it looks so black, it almost looks burnt, but it's not. That's just the coloration from the beans. So I'll be back when I have my ham all separated. So it's about halfway full now. And now we're just going to put in the ham. And we're gonna let it cook down just a little bit more. So I'm sneaking a taste. Mm, a little hot. Mm. This is so good. Beans are nice and creamy. Very, very rich ham broth. And a mm, little ham. This tastes really great. If you want a spicier soup, you can add some Rotel tomatoes. These are with fire roasted hatch chilies or some diced green chilies. It's also great with diced carrots diced celery and maybe even some green or red pepper but i just didn't think it needed it It just tasted so good as it was i didn't want to ruin it by adding other ingredients but that is totally up to you try not to make too much of a mess as i do this get some of the hand and that great broth. And I'll be back when I'm done. Now we're going to take our little tool here, the bubble, just to make sure. Good. Now we're going to want to wipe the rims well. Do anything to prevent your seal. There we go. We'll put on our lids, and these are four jars lids. And if you want to purchase some, like I said, I have never had a bad seal then I have a discount code down below. You're welcome to use it. And we're going to just finger tighten. That is hot, hot, hot. Okay. There we go. We'll do it to the rest and we'll get it in our pressure canner. You need to pour in the water for your canner, whatever it says. I also pour in a little vinegar because otherwise I get cloudy jars. Want to make 
make sure to lube your rim well. You don't want to get your lid stuck. You don't have to do this every time. Put our jars in. Place your lid on. Always tighten opposing screws. There we go. Now we're just going to want to wait until we start getting a nice air kind of shooting out of here back. Okay, you probably can't see it, but we do have a nice steam coming out here. So I'm going to, and it's spitting a little, and I'm going to set a timer for 10 minutes. Okay, we did it 10 minutes. Now we're going to put on the weight. For me, it's 10 pounds pressure, but you have to check your elevation, see what weight you need to put it on. So we're going to wait. This will probably get up to 10, and then this will start doing its jiggling. Be back. Okay, we're doing our little jig. Up to a little past 10 here. We are going to pressure can it, process it for 90 minutes because it's quart. If you're only doing pints, you only have to do it for 75 minutes. Okay, our timer's up. Now we gotta wait until this gets down to zero. And then we'll take out our jars. Okay, let's take off our weight. Now they're out of the canner. 24 hours, then we'll take off the rings and we'll write on black bean soup and the date and then clean up the jars a bit and they'll be ready to be put in the pantry. This is always my favorite part. Get some beans and broth. Mm. Oh, so good. This broth especially. Yeah, it looks very, very deep, deep brown, black, but boy, does it taste good. It is so hammy. That's the only way I can describe it. It is de absolutely delicious. So I am sure my husband will be glad to have this for supper tonight. And I'm glad that I have four quarts of this to put on my shelf. So anytime, maybe my son's coming over, wants a quick lunch, I've got some black bean soup. So he would be happy too. Now, you make sure you're watching every video weekday in May of Bean Bonanza. And just, you know, subscribe to those channels below and then you won't miss a single video and you'll also be treated with other great videos that they make. And I urge you, print out the recipes you like and put them in your recipe box so you always know what you can do with your dried beans. And if you want to know what I think is the absolute best way to store dried beans, watch this video.